my name is PGP, welcome to the channel, and today we're going to be talking about why Evercade could go mainstream in 2022. Now, obviously I'm going to get a load of people quite honestly here, and well it's not, Evercade is clearly a niche product, you know, and whilst I do agree with that, let me explain, right, why I think Evercade has potential in 2022 to go mainstream. Let's first of all start with the collections, right, the games that are offered on Evercade, there's a ton of them, right, there's over 300 games, uh, if you have the handheld, Obviously, if you have DVS, there's a little bit less because obviously Namco cartridges don't work on it. And there's been many speculations from channels like Crazy Burger, who are like, you know, Evercade will sign a big arcade license in 2022, which I think is, could be actually possible. We don't know yet who if, if they've signed any. We don't know if who they could have signed or anything like that. But we know it's possible. I know it's possible that Evercade and Blaze, you know, could have made a deal with someone like Sega or Konami or someone quite well known with quite a lot of games that could make the Evercade more expensive. Second of all, the price point. The price point of the Evercade is quite cheap, quite durable, and the system is quite useful. Because if you want to play some classic games that maybe were forgotten about by modern uh, modern gamers, you know, sure you can play Atari games, Namco games and all sorts of stuff on the Evercade handheld. But you know there's indie games on the Evercade handheld like Mega Cat Studios stuff and you can go get more cat games. You know, and there's just hundreds of games to play on Evercade, and people are like, yeah, but there's hundreds of games to play on Switch and Xbox and PlayStation. Yeah, I know, I do agree that is a fair assessment. We got member right. Evercade's a small, Evercade's owned by Blaze Entertainment. Blaze Entertainment is a tiny company. There's like twenty people that work there, and the game library that they offer, that they've been able to curate is actually pretty great. You know, Evercade, I've made jokes with, with people on Twitter that Evercade's having to beat up beat ups, and hopefully. We can see more. We see more. We must see more RPGs. We see more platforms. We see more of everything on Evercade. Now, a third reason is obviously Evercade's because we've got a small but growing community. You know, there's there's a few thousand of us. You know, we make videos on Evercade. We talk about Evercade in the Discord. We tweet uh, Evercade and tweet about Evercade on social media. And the more promotion that Evercade gets from these people, the more people we, we get to join the community, talk about Evercade, and buy Evercade products, and you know. You know, more money Blaze makes and more money Blaze can spend on licensing games and getting new licenses and new companies on board. Because what we've got members is like 20 different, well, 20 publishers in total, roughly, who have their own Evercade cartridges now, including Renovation, Gremlin, Morphcat, Intellivision, all sorts. There's tons of games. Not to mention the variety of games that are offered on Evercade. It's quite massive. Remember, Evercade even makes 12 different uh, consoles and handhelds. So, there's quite a lot of stuff there you know sure we're not going to get something like a nintendo collection but you know someone like sega maybe maybe may not may not be off limits you know we know it can emulate arcade games who so more niche arcade developers or could be could get you know their games put on evercade and obviously as time goes on more and more games will come to evercade you know players will be signing new licenses obviously so many old cartridges will obviously expire but new games will come to replace the old, those old games and if you're a collector and you collected all the cartridges so far, like I have, you won't have to worry about you know missing out on certain cartridges and certain collections because you already have all of them. You know, and for me, as a gamer, I want to be able to preserve my collection. And obviously, I have, well, at the time of recording this, I have all twenty six cartridges currently available. Renovation and Gremlins that cartridges are on their way to me. So yeah, I do think that you know, the games on Evercade are great. The community behind it is amazing. You know, sure, I might have a fallen out with some of. The some of the bigger channels within the Evercade community, but I don't want to name names, you know, but I do think Evercade is a great product, you know, a great, a great system, and as a platform, right, if Blaze can continue to make these deals and get more exciting games on it, and more interesting games and more unique games on Evercade, whether it be indie games or, you know, classic arcade games or forgotten gems on, like, uh, NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis sort of stuff, I think but Evercade's got more of a chance of going mainstream. And people are the argument of renovation games aren't going to make a mainstream, gremlin games aren't going to make a mainstream. What do you see that was going to make a mainstream? Because a lot of the games that would people would see them as mainstream retro games, like Capcom games, you know, Castlevania, you know, Mega Man, Sonic the Hedgehog, all this stuff are widely available on modern consoles. Yeah, and I agree. But what could make FK go mainstream, especially, is if Blaze puts some money in and gets the deals with more with some of these bigger titles as well as some of the smaller titles from the same publishers you know getting more arcade games from capcom would be great 
but you'd also need to find some of the smaller, lesser known ones alongside your Street Fighters. You know, same with same with um same with Sonic or Sonic Sega. If you get you know Virtual Fighter and Crazy Taxi on a cartridge, you need to throw in some lesser known Sega arcade games to try and bounce out a bit to make it seem like seems to seem like yes, you need to get this, you need to get this a collection so you can add it to your collection and preserve these games. But yeah, those are just my thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. You know, if you're new here, leave a comment. Let, let, let me know. Do you think Evergo's going to go mainstream in 2022? Or do you think I'm off my rocker? Do you think I'm going crazy? Because many people have already told me I am. So, anyway, guys, I'm PGP. Thank you for watching. I'm signing out. Peace.